Hey Scorpios, let's get into your messages at this time. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Hey Scorpios, let's get into your messages at this time. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Messages for Scorpios at this time, please. We have Archangel Raphael coming out. He is connected to the heart chakra in this deck. So there could be some healing around the heart chakra. There could be a heart chakra awakening that's happening. Scorpio, I feel like you're in a very, like, you're, you're very authentic. You're very much yourself, able to be yourself, free to be yourself is what this feels like. But be careful of somebody trying to ride your coattail because of the success coming towards you, okay? Somebody because, and that's going back to the whole heart chakra here in the heart space. Be careful of people trying to take advantage of your emotions, um, taking advantage of your, your heart, your kindness. People can, people are vultures out here, all right? They see when you have an open heart chakra, they're like, oh, Scorpio's in a nice, oh, Scorpio's very loving, very kind, okay, <laughs> all right, so be careful. Give me a little more on this. Celebrity connections and clients, okay. What else? So, this heart chakra, your heart chakra being open or there being some sort of awakening around it. Um, it's bringing in some sort of potential um, successful opportunities here or lucrative opportunities for some of you if you do if you do work with like celebrity clientele or that's something that you're trying to do or you could be being connected to um, well-known individuals your finances are increasing Wow okay Scorpio This message is not going to resonate with everybody, but okay. We have the gift of healing. So definitely some of y'all have the gift of healing, healing people's hearts, um, creating people. I mean, creating people, uh, creating, like initiating people's heart chakra awakenings as well. Yeah, you see, look what's at the bottom of the deck. Low down, dirty dog, mask off, someone's true colors, intentions, feelings being revealed. And then we have divinely guided connection, healing for the future generations. So there is a divinely guided connection coming in that's going to be very healing and healing for the future generations here, Scorpio. But there's somebody else's mask that is falling off. All right. So that's why I'm saying be careful of people trying to come in and use and abuse your kindness. All right. But regardless, whoever this is, their their mask is going to fall off. They're not going to be able to take advantage of you the way they think they want to. We also have tomorrow showing up. All right, so let's get into it. <clears throat> you could be 38 years old. Um, you could be born on the 11th. The second, you could be a life path two. You could be born in 1983. All right, let's see. Tell me about celebrity connections, clients for Scorpio. The Tower and the Three of Swords. Hmm. So maybe in the past, y'all dealt with some sort of celebrity. You, you guys had... Con Maybe you guys dealt with somebody who had connections to celebrities. Maybe you dealt with somebody who was a celebrity um, client. Something here could have really backfired and blew up. There could have been a major catastrophe, destruction. All right. A lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak, turmoil, losses, disappointments. The three of wands. Okay. You may have had to turn your back on something here. Or someone or some connections clients okay whatever this is um, I feel like you definitely had to turn your back but I feel like this is an energy of not giving up either you could be seeing three three the numbers one six three three could be significant 
I feel like, yeah, because the three of wands is connected to the solar plexus chakra and that speaks of your confidence. It speaks about being in your power. So I feel like whatever this was, um, you just kept going. Okay. So a lot of you are for, for the group of Scorpios I'm talking to, you definitely are, it's this three of wands says commercial success. Okay. So some of you may be wanting to be in, you know, the commercial industry or beyond, you know, commercials, TVs, movies, whatever it is. It says one step away from success, committed to completion, seek cooperation, explore new territories. I, uh, foresight, I was going to say eyesight, <laughs> something about somebody's eyesight. Um, foresight is here. Aries energy, excuse me. You could have dealt with a Scorpio, Aries, Libra, but, um, it feels like whatever happened here in the past, because I feel like this is past energy. It feels like we, the three of wands, the, I can see the three of swords as being a closed, being your heart chakra being closed off. And the three of wands I can see as the heart chakra opening up. Okay, so I feel like you're opening up to new opportunities, even though the past may have completely like shitted on you. Okay, uh, whatever happened here was a total fucking calamity is what this looks like. But you stood in your power and you have your, your heart open here to new opportunities and all that stuff. So I feel like there is your ships are coming in with the three of wands here, Scorpio. The two of cups. Okay, so you could be definitely connecting with someone here in the near future. Um, this could be somebody you end up becoming uh, really good friends with, <clears throat> having a really good connection with. This person could have connections to celebrities or, you know, just well-known people or people that could assist you on your path. For some of you there, uh, for some of you, somebody in the past who you had connected with, whoever this individual is, whether they're a celebrity or they had connections or this was a client or whatever with connections like that, you may have somebody trying to come back to reconcile as well. All right. But I see you meeting somebody new. The queen of swords. Okay. So this situation could have made you very like, definitely made you wiser, made you smarter. Um, maybe this is this tower three of swords energy is something that you had to go through to change how you operate with people or clients or people who have certain connections. Um, I feel like the queen of swords is somebody who has very strong, strong boundaries and um, Queen of Swords Upright is also somebody who's very unbiased. So I don't feel like you're going to meet this person and automatically think, oh, this is just going to be like the last time. I feel like you're having an open heart here, um, having, you know, being unbiased and like, all right, let's see where this goes. Let's see, you know, what happens here. the fool okay so yeah definitely new energy coming in scorpio page of cups at the bottom so a lot of creative dreamy artistic poetic energy somebody could be into you know um, music dancing singing poetry whatever it is um there's a lot of creativity but that this person has that you have and if like you guys were to link up it could definitely grow into more so i definitely see a new start a new beginning somebody taking a leap of faith towards you here but i see you being very logical um very perceptive just and and being straightforward with somebody here scorpio maybe in the past you weren't um maybe you took a leap of faith without really looking but this time around it feels a little different yeah the emperor you're more in control you're more in charge here but there's definitely a boss that is coming towards you or somebody who could definitely be in a, a high level position here. Maybe this person is introducing you to this emperor, to this person who's in a high level position. Heavy Aries energy here. But it, it looks good here, Scorpio. I feel like whoever this is, is definitely very honest, very um, straightforward and to the point as well. <clears throat> the fool, this could be, yeah, this could definitely be like, um, what are those classes like, uh, acting classes, drama classes, things like that, something like that is significant. 
Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a sense of needing to be fearless to take on some sort of opportunity here, but there's definitely a financial uh, opportunity, business opportunity coming through here. Okay. Don't be afraid to like fight for yourself or fight for like, you know what I'm saying? What you feel like you deserve to be paid. That type of stuff. The eight of pentacles. Yeah. There's definitely some sort of work coming your way here, Scorpio. Some of you, I don't know why I keep picking this up. Some of you could be like hairstylists for famous people, celebrities, well-known people, makeup artists. Some of y'all could be like in the beauty industry, okay? But I see work coming in, all right? Some of you could be actors, actresses, you know, singers, dancers, whatever it is. Work is coming through. Okay, Scorpio, Six of Swords, the Empress. All right, tell me about your finances are increasing. Six of Cups. <clears throat> so yeah i feel like your finances are going to be increasing because you learn from some sort of past experience this um six of cups says influence of the past on the present so you're there's some sort of lesson that you learned all right the two of swords Four of Swords. <clears throat> Nine of Wands. I feel like a lot, like y'all are definitely treading lightly when it comes to work, business deals. The Two of Swords speaks of indecisions, um, being at a crossroads. It could sometimes be, you know, confusion. But it also speaks of new beginnings, intuition, waiting. So a lot of you need to trust your intuition at this time. When it comes to financial opportunities, uh, of course, make sure you're using your discernment, but make sure you're trusting your intuition and not closing yourself off to certain opportunities. Some of you could have recently been going through some sort of like recovery period, um, resting, healing, mind, body, soul. So there could have been a bit of a. I don't know why I want to I want to say pause, I guess a pause when it comes to your finances or something. But the four and the two of swords is the six of swords. So the six of swords is about getting into that, um, into that boat and moving towards calmer waters. It's healing, mental healing, emotional healing, moving away from conflict. Um, that's the five of swords right before the six of swords conflict. Uh, people trying to do underhanded things, people trying to win at all costs. That could have been part of the situation that happened over here. You could have been dealing with a five of swords situation, somebody who was, a bit of a they bully that five of swords can also speak of bullies theft abusive relationships so so i definitely see you treading lightly but i also see you um moving forward this is wounded warrior energy is yes okay they've been through the battle they've been burnt they've been hurt but they get up and keep uh going no matter what seven of cups there could be a lot of ideas a lot of you could be very inspired at this time um to create and there could be a lot of ideas that you're having when it that could potentially um help you increase your finances here scorpio so maybe there's a need to ground yourself as well getting more rest but also going outside going near bodies of water could be beneficial to help you ground yourself <clears throat> And the Hierophant, okay. Hmm. Some of you can be leaders of a community, teachers, spiritual gurus, but the Seven of Cups here, also what I'm getting, this is why Spirit said to use your discernment. Um, be careful of people trying to come in and just uh, sell you a dream, okay? And that could be too, like... For whoever I'm speaking to, this could be where, you know, sh things become, you become, 
feeling stuck. You feel, you feel like you're at a crossroads. You're like, I don't, you know, do I trust my intuition on this or do I not? Is this person selling me a story, selling me a dream? Like, oh my God, yeah, I could get you here, get you there. Like the last person did and they did nothing but cause chaos and destruction. Or, you know, is this a true and real offer? You know, yes, I do see a real offer coming in Scorpio, but there's something about the past with the six of cups here that could potentially affect this. Okay. You could have Taurus in your chart. Libra, you could have a Sagittarius moon. Tell me about the <clears throat> Hierophant here. The death card. There's something here about maybe doing things in a traditional manner. So this could, well, I don't have the justice out here, but there's something like spirit is saying something with this higher font energy, like there's a need to be more traditional in how you maybe go about doing things like, um, you know, maybe getting things down on paper getting things signed because I do feel like in the past there there was a uh, some sort of project failure or a failure within a group of people or something that you was you were doing here um mm. ace of pentacles so there's that new opportunity coming through so it's it's the end there's a transformation here but it's the end of this energy of feeling indecisive or at a crossroads or you know like there's there's an opportunity coming in scorpio page of wands ten of cups six of pentacles six of wands Whew. tell me about the gift of healing the chariot ten of pentacles so this gift of healing is part of like your purpose it's part of your legacy with the ten of pentacles so you're gonna start moving in the right direction or so, there's something about you moving in, in the right direction when it comes to your gift of healing so maybe this gift of healing that you have and gift of healing could be anything it doesn't have to be that you do something spiritual let's say you are a hairstylist or a makeup artist you know you make people feel beautiful maybe you do nails like you have a gift of healing people making them feel better about themselves and that's part of your legacy here and you're moving in the right direction for some of you travel could be involved you could start traveling here need to travel this is interesting give me a little more on gift of healing this is definitely not going to resonate with everybody the page of wands a new path New projects, new plans, good news coming in. Page of Cups. Wow. I feel like there's something about um, word of mouth, like your services or whatever it is being word of mouth, other people talking about it. Um, oh, yeah, this is who I use for this. Or, yeah, this is who I use for that. Wow. Four of Wands in reverse. Give me a little more. The Ten of Swords. The Queen of Wands. You could have felt too like very like your people people in the past took advantage of this um gift that you had. You definitely had people who betrayed you. Stabbed you in the back here. Created instability within your um within your foundation. 
but it feels like there's stability coming in and there's blessings coming in don't don't overlook your blessings at this time scorpio temperance be patient divine timing is at play and there's a lot of healing that's happening as well for you but you could be some sort of like you definitely are some sort of healer with a temperance card um coming out you have sagittarius in your chart you definitely know how to alchemize pain and turn it into power turn it into beauty king of cups wow temperance king of cups this is very somebody who's very emotionally balanced definitely a healer somebody some of you could be meeting another healer here a masculine energy you know how they say the a healer need like a healer needs a healer right so you could be the a gift of healing to other people but i feel like there's somebody coming in who's going to be a gift of healing for you this is somebody who's emotionally supportive even if this is just a friend it doesn't have to be anything romantic the hermit yeah this could be some sort of like guide coming in even if it's on the physical this person could be a, a spirit guide for you on the physical plane this could, person could be older than you um they, they're definitely very mature very wise very spiritual the empress wow I feel like you're definitely going to be making a lot of, of connections and there's a lot of growth that's going to be had here. Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Virgo energy here. Some of you could have uh, tried to heal uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, feminine energy only for this person to kind of stab you in the back too. I don't know why I'm getting that message, but that's a message for somebody. Somebody could have been overlooking you as a blessing. Yep, now they're in regret. Five of Cups, Lovers, the Ace of Wands. Your, your sex could have also been very healing for this person. That's crazy, but I feel like you're definitely meeting uh, some real energies, <laughs> Scorpio. All right, let's see. Messages for Scorpios, please. Extra messages. Teacher. Teaching is your calling. A long journey of doing inner work. Teaching others. Helps you learn. Victory. Victory will be yours. Your enemies will be defeated. Keep going and you'll have your win. Easy road. Good karma flowing into your life. A comfortable average life. Making it through life unscathed. So there's good karma coming your way. Things becoming easier. Um, maybe like just things... Good luck, good karma flowing into your life. Maybe, you know, um, clients start coming easily. The money starts coming easily. The empress is here. She's an att She attracts abundance, prosperity, wealth. Wow. Synchronicity, fully aligned to your sole purpose, strategically orchestrated messages, and events where needs are met. Okay. Now, again, this doesn't have to be celebrities, you know, but this could be, you know, well-known people. I don't care if they have a, a, a TED Talk, okay? Like, it's somebody who you would consider well-known or people you would consider well-known, okay? Um, but whatever this is for you, Scorpio, it looks beautiful. There's blessings coming in and I'm uh, sending you so, so much love and blessings. This, is, this was a beautiful read. If this resonated, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love y'all. Until next time, bye.